uh, Lance McCann, who was, was the great sure. grandson of Lamar McCann. Yeah. Nobody talked about Brad Taylor, the small kid from, you know, a little town in Danville. And so, you know, those were legacy names, legacy quarterbacks. Yeah. Yeah. And sort of, you know, Cam Will has a legacy name. Yeah. Like, hey, everybody, it's Woody and Butter. We's out here on the road patrolling, and we's working on a special undercover deal. Hold on. Speaking of racetracks, if you just tuned in, the, the uh, Eric Musselman run continues now. RJ, I want to bring this up because I asked you. This is one on three. Now. Let's see. Uh, they, 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 one on three, seven, the buzz. Uh, and it's got, this is called the Morning Mayhem Show. Listen up. This is David Baswell talking. Over the number they can have for scholarships. I think Sully confirmed that last <laughs> night. And so somebody's got to go. Oh, David Baswell, he's a smart guy. Now, he used to be a Razorback. I think he was a tight end or a safety or something. But I remember he always wore this big old pool thing around his neck, you know, like them pool things you play with in the swimming pool. Anyway, listen. Those are new faces coming in anyway, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, there's... Now, I'll tell you who else on this show. It's, uh... I don't know. I mean, uh, let's see what... Now, babe, I mean, Butter... Butter has done uh, spotted the squatchy remains on one deal. We went and checked it out. We found a little bit of hair. We was going to submit it to the squatchy lab on that deal. We got to report that in uh, to the... Uh, this show that these boys is on. Now it's David Baswell and it's little Roger Scott, and then and then every once in a while Roger's friend wrestling man comes on there. He's funny as hell. And then uh, there's also on there there's this country western star boy. It's a big deal. He wears cowboy hat, cowboy boots, and everything. He's a little guy. He's about as short as old Woody here. That butter. Uh, and Roger. Roger used to be the shortest one on this team, but he ain't the shortest one no more. And then they got Justin, Justin Moore, and he, uh, George Strait closed Justin Moore's live show the other night at the Alltel Arena or whatever it's called now, that, uh, that arena down there. With many of the same entrees and recipes. Anyway, so then anyway, 1037 The Buzz. I'm going to get out of here early on this because we's up here in the woods and we's, we's really looking for that squatchy. But, oh, I was going to tell you the deal on the boys there, 1037 The Buzz, Dave Baswell, R.J. Hawk, uh, and then there's uh, Little Roger Scott. Is there another one? Oh, yeah, the cowboy, Justin Moore. He's a real cowboy. He ain't a drugstore cowboy. He's from down there in Poyan, and uh, he played... He played, uh, he played sports. He's got a, he lives down in a big old estate down there in Poyan, up on, high up on the hill. He's got guards around it and everything like that. And his wife don't let no crazy people get in there. She's, his wife knows karate or something. She's got, I could tell by the way he talks, his wife wears pants in that family. They, he's a good family too. He's got little, little kids and he coaches their, league and everything like that and old Roger he's raised up all his family David Baswell is it Baswell or Baswell Bas Basil Basley it's Basley David Basley he's a David Basley he's a good guy too he's fixed to marry his longtime girlfriend they live in a big mansion over there and over there by uh, Edwards Food Giant that's what he always just tells everybody I don't know where it is though so anyway what Woody's got going on here I got to get out of here in four minutes well Woody's got what Woody's got going on I'm in secret undercover uh, negotiations with 1037 the bus and the boys at the morning mayhem show Raji David Baz, Baz Basley Je Justin the cowboy Moore and RJ Hawk He's a, he's a politician, but they don't talk politics. Oh, Woody, I've learned a lot about sports and everything on that. They had a little girl on there yesterday, nine years old, that shoots better golf than anybody I've ever seen or heard of. And I know some big golfers out there. Hold on. All right, so anyway, I've been working on this secret deal. I'm going to be doing their, I'm going to be doing their external reporting, what they're going to call extra. I'm going to be the official Woody, Willie, and Butter. Better back there resting right now for me to get out and chase the Sasquatch. Uh, I'm going to be their official uh, Sasquatch reporter. And, uh, you know, since Governor Asa Hudson appointed me to be the head at Sasquatch Hunter in the whole state, hell, I'm going to do it for free for them. I'll give them a report if I ever find anything, which means my reports will probably be pretty limited because, as you know, that son of a gun Sasquatch, he's hard to find. And I want one question I want to ask all them Sasquatch hunters. Where in the hell does he poop? I have been all, I have tromped all over miles and miles of the woods out here and I ain't never found no Sasquatch poop. 
So do they. One guy I told that to, he said, oh, Woody, he said, they got good bowel habits. I said, now, how do you know that? He said, well, I just know it makes sense. And I said, okay, well, what, what is their good bowel habits? He said, they always dig a big hole and then they cover it up. And I said, you're telling me that an eight foot tall hairy creature that runs through the woods is going to take the time when he gets the urge to drop a deuce that he takes the time to stop, big, dig a big old hole, squat down there and squeeze it off, drop a couple melons and then cover it back up and then take off on his trip. You's crazy as a loon. Why don't you go over there and try to find them people behind that puff of smoke down there at, in Dallas, that, that Dealey Plaza thing. All right, everybody, that's Woody Willie. Boy, I went way over. Merlin is going to kick my butt. But reach out, give a helping hand. We love you. Don't forget to tune in to 1037 Buzz. Them guys are crazy over there. All right, bye.